Right, welcome to my playthrough of the Space Engineer survival game. Um, <laughs> I'm, I, I had planned, and I did, actually, um, started out this episode um, by driving all the way out here. I collected a lot of materials from my base to my rover, and I drove all the way out here. Uh, found the place where the ore was that I wanted to do, and then um, I just uh, uh, designed it, putting up the scaffolding and building and and uh, and all the stuff, and uh, welded it up. And all the time I was yapping away and telling about stuff, uh, why I was doing, and all of that. And uh, after an hour or so, I discovered I have forgot to start the recording. So, instead of finding another place, um, I will, I will um, just tell you what I've been doing here. Um, I took all my my uh, stuff out with the rover. I found a, a gold ore, uh, and I wanted to find a gold ore because I need gold to build superconductors for my yield module uh, on my refinery. So, um, I started out by building a platform and uh, put out this and connected it up with, um, with conveyors to a large cargo container. With the conveyors and put it up to uh, a large cargo container. I put a sorter on it, which will take all the ores and uh, ingots. Um, no, not ingots, sorry, ores and components um, that will get in here from my drill uh, and connect it up to a connector that my rover could connect up to. Um, then I put on um, two windmills and two batteries to store for the night. Um, out here I put on my conveyor a piston um, and this piston was connected up to a conveyor system that was on another piston because when I was when I was um, uh, surveying out here, I, I noticed that the gold was about 40 meters down, 33 meters down, and each piston has a range of 10 meters. So I'll need four pistons to uh, push my drill all the way down. So I have made this snake thing. Um, and I did hit one problem about um, this edge over here um, not being drilled out by the drills. So you have to be aware about the footprint of your uh, drill uh, and your setup is not bigger than the drill will be able to drill it out. Down here, I put a rotor that goes with about uh, an hour, uh, oh sorry, one revolution per minute, and five drills. Um, I have done that on purpose because, as you can see, the gold ore is. I have to be careful about this, is in here in a kind of a small stripe. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to dismantle these and then um, put a, a uh, and, and the rotor and put a conveyor junction on here. Um, no, uh, sorry. 
put a conveyor junction, and I'll show you later, uh, a conveyor junction on this with a drill pointing out, a piston and a drill pointing outwards. And then I will extend these so that it fits with uh, this. So it should be almost in the right right height, but we'll find that out later. Um, this has given me whoopsie has given me a lot of stone. 2,2 two million uh, stone. And some gold. And I'll just gonna take some of this right now and um, go to my rover and uh, come back here and do this and fix this up. But because the drills are going very slowly um, with a speed of 1 point no 0 point 0 one five, um, I think meters per second um, it'll take a while for it to get up so I will um, retract I made the groups for my pistons and my drills here so that I can turn them off and I can reverse my drills here. Also on my rotor I can I can turn it off. Ah no, never mind. I keep that going. Um, the braking torque is something I'll demonstrate when I uh, when we come back. Because um, when I turn it off um, it takes some time for the drills to stop rotating um, and with the braking torque it'll go a little bit faster but I will go back to the base um, and put the gold into a refinery um, I have two refineries and I have um, set the one to stone and the other one to gold. And uh, I have here some scrap metal. If I want that to be done first, I can just put it on front. It goes so fast that you can't even see it. Now, I have put on the yield modules. These are um, these are modules that uh, increase the efficiency of my refinery um, by about 10% a piece. So I have almost doubled when I'm I have welded up. Uh, I still need. Oh, I'll just put my hot bag on. Um, I need 20, 40, 45 superconductors, so the production is going to a lot of superconductors. So it's not going fast because I need some speed modules on on these one. But this is. Um, this is the reason why I went for gold in the first place. That is because I wanted yield modules on that. That means that I don't have to find as much gold to get the same result. Um, while I'm here, I just get up and I'll replenish my my battles. And I have no ice in here. <laughs> um, so I'll find my hydrogen tanks and I'll put on there. Actually, I will take this oxygen bottle and put down into 
this because uh okay it can't be seen in here all right but i'll leave one here because when i so when i'll uh, hide empty i will always have this one just to see when it gets there right i will i need uh maybe i need some steel plates steel plates and mortars not steel tubes construction cups Right, let's see if that is enough um, for changing the drills. Superconductors, that's the left. Uh, that's what's left. Okay. I will... Yeah. I will go out into my rover, which still is not recharged. Um, uh, well, the fact happened, or the thing happened, that um, I came back and I docked up my, uh, my rover and I didn't put my battery in recharge. So the second that uh, my refinery started, um, it sucked all out all of the energy for my battery because these were still on recharge. Now I have put them on uh, on auto, so I should have enough power for a while. Um, but it takes, unfortunately, a little bit, a little bit of time for this to recharge. Um, Beetle batteries. Uh, I have to go down and actually see it it's not even it's not even getting any power right right now it's on recharge so at one point it will uh, get its mojo back and we can use it um, if it takes too long I just might grind this down and and put on a another battery maybe I should just do that uh, yeah I lose yeah well I'll lose the power cells but um, I think I can live with that because I have power cells here All right And I will put battery, battery. Oh, G menu, battery. And I'll. What? W why? I don't know why that's the red thing there is when you are in build mode and you have pressed the N and the T buttons, um, which I haven't. So why is... Huh. Maybe that's a bug. I will have to... to restart and... Um, I'll restart totally and I'll uh, come back to you. Right. Um, I don't know what happened, but it was a bug in the system. Because um, all I did was restart the game and uh, I have my... the bug I had was gone. So I'll just put on a battery here. And... then everything works. The problem is then when you totally lose uh, charge on your battery, um, all the things that you're supposed to have, actually um, the connection 
Um, as you can see, it's yellow, and it needs to be green, like that. Now it's connected. Um, and now it will suck um, energy from from the base instead, um, instead of the other way around. Um, but I'll have all my components and we'll get over here. And by now, it's almost retracted. And now you can see the, a lot of my... Now you can actually see what happens when I, I'll uh, stop the, the rotor. It still continues, and it's not because it's working, but it's just the weight um, that is making it go. And now it stops. And that was uh, that was the braking torque that I talked about. Um, it also means you have to be careful here because the higher up you set it, uh, the quicker it'll stop because there's a lot of braking torque in it. Um, this is the how fast the vehicle accelerate um, when the, the, the um, when I turn it on, uh, which could be pretty fast. But let's take a look down here to, to see that we actually have a gold ore here. So what I will do is instead of having the drills that way I will dismantle them and uh, put another drill system in the other way around so inventory full all right inventory full do we have space over here yes we have so I just deposit that next time I get over here with my rover because I'm not going to use five drills for the rest. Um, it'll drain because I put them to the sorter to push through. Um, Inventory full. Ah. Bang. Uh, put through components. Um, I'll just clean up my mess. Probably topped again, but that's about it. And this is playing with fire. That's it. Ah! Holy crap! All right, that was because it was. This was the one that was attached. The one that uh, uh, <laughs> the one I grinded away was the one that attached to the rotor. So when I removed that the other drill didn't have any thing to hold on to, so it just fell. It's a good thing that I wasn't underneath it. Huh. Right. Um, so, I would want a A conveyor junction here, um, and I'll need interior plates to build one. And I should have it here, and the rest seems like I have, um, because I'll just work this up. It'll be easier to see. Small steel tube. No small stitch. No! Oh well. I'll wait with welding it up because the conveyor tube has access all the way around. So I can show you here with um, the drill. I'm going to put that on like this. And then I'll hope 
that when I that's not in the room then I'll do something else I'll do something else this is this is one of the fun thing I think about um, space engineers is when you have an idea and it doesn't work so what I'm going to do is I'm um, put the drill down here instead that should do the trick um, come on seven right and I'll drill that up when I'm over here uh, I need motors and a little small steel tube and interior plate over here. So what do I have here? I have nothing. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll take what I can of this and I'll go back after interior plates and small steel tubes. Right. Now that is drilled up, I will put. I will start the drill and the rotor. Rotor on and the drill on. And to make the, the, the whole rig less shaky. I had put on the shear inertia tensor both here and with all the pistons. Um, if I didn't have that, it'll rrr, it will just uh, uh, be very wobbly. Um, so what I am going to do here is that I am going to ask my pistons to reverse. And now they should go out and come on, don't be that thing. I just wanted to miss, and it does cool. I always tend to put too little space up here so I always have this <gasps> would it work down here um, but it will uh, the next time I won't retract um, I'm only using this to kind of measure how far down it has to go um, it actually hits over there Um, I will grab some energy and whatever I have here. No, actually I will put all this stuff here and take, because this is half full already. Not for that matter, but okay. I will. And you notice every time I move here, my soda tower is moving. <laughs> I could actually put four more here. So, well, it doesn't seem that it's needed right now. Um.
So while that was... Look how fast it's going. <laughs> this is on auto and that one should be on recharge. Um, I'll just take that off and... I have enough battery now, I guess. Two days of battery. Right. So, sometimes when I have to uh, change groups and fix groups and stuff, uh, like the battery I, I've just uh, added, I always disconnect because it's more easy to uh, see what's uh, actually happening here. Um, because we also have, um, we also have uh, a little bit of a. Uh, we're missing something. We put on some uh, extra thrusters on this, and they are not. Um, they're not put on to the the um, uh, thrusters up, like so. Beetle thrusters up. Okay, they are on. I just don't want to show them. Beetle thrusters forward. That's there. Okay, they're all there. Cool. Um, then it's the batteries, which I need to see. Um, this is the battery. So this will be Beetle battery. Because the other one is two, then this will be one. And I will control click that one and save. And that one I do not want to see when that one goes back. Okay. Um, that one is off. Right. And that one will be the beetle. Right. Okay. Cool. Right. What I was um, when you weren't, you know, what I was in recording was that I would kind of think that at one point. Oh, sorry, wrong button. At one point, I will change um, or make another one. I think I'll make another one where three or four cargo containers and uh, three, three sets of wheels um, to when I um, uh, when I'm having multiple drilling rigs um, because then I would be able to uh, to go and get for, for multiple at once um let's see what that is right now because we needed motors and interior plates and stuff I'll bring that along um and then I'll see how far um, my drill has gone down. I'll recharge. I think it was a bit, uh, we are boggling a bit again. Why is that? Maybe. I can take some of the power. Mm, was it it left? That was the non-power steering, right? And take the power down to forty percent. And I'll do the same thing with the right one without steering. See if that has any effect whatsoever.
Eh, it's more easy to drive. Where more of the power is on the front wheel. Now I had a little bit of a fun time. Pike got bleeding. <sighs> Thank God for the gyrus. Um, I need to mind this down a little bit. Um, but I'll see if I. This is for the brakes on this thing is forward. <laughs> so I will uh, can I use I'll have to not to go down too fast. Um, ready to lock. Cool, I'm locked. Um, now It should be that it is filling up, um, so it's filling up the connector. Why isn't it going in? It's yellow. Why is it yellow? Is it ready to uh, right? I don't know why it. Unlocked. Maybe it's because I pushed it. I shouldn't be able to push it out. But as you can see now, um, everything but my cockpit, um, which is not uh, connected up to uh, to the rest, um, is being loaded up with uh, with stuff. Um, I will take that gold and I will put that in my cockpit. Okay, now these are not totally extended yet and we can see that by going into the pistons and s well, well they are actually. Oh, the sun was in my eye. <coughs> um, so let's go down and see how it lines up. It actually lines up quite nicely, actually. Cool. Um... That's perfect. Does present me with a problem though. Um, I'll just turn off the advanced rotor and turn off the drill. Sorry, not getting killed. 
Um, it does present me with some kind. Actually, it should be a little bit further up to get all of this. Oh, we'll have to be up here. So we actually have to raise that piston there, and that piston alone by, I think, two meters. Um, now the current position is 10, so we need the maximum to be 10. Right now I'll just reverse that one, and slowly it will get up and I will put that at eight uh, seven and a half each block is about two and a half meters uh, no American comment thank you and as soon as it passed the the minimum or the maximum distance here I will uh, push it the other way um, What to do? Um, so that it would would accommodate a piston. What I'll think I'll do is I will over here put this is going to be some kind of contraption. Um, I'm just going to grind this down. And I will put... And I need... Interior plates. And don't tell me I don't have interior plates. I have interior plates. And it's in the cockpit. <laughs> All right, I will go get the cockpit, oh, or in the cockpit. Um, interior plates, monitors, emergency issues. I think we need that. And um, conveyor junction, and not sorter. Is that a sorter? That was a sorter too. All right. Um, there. Let's see if there is room for one there. Small steel tubes. Connection comp and small steel tubes. My point is that I want to push back so that I could fit in a piston and still have the drill. Um, but I'm not sure that is... Is that just kind of possible? But let's see. Otherwise, we will have to make a ridge with the stuff we have. Um, let's see. This piston, is it above? It is above. Then I'll reverse. And now it will go out to six, uh, to seven and a half. Um, seven and a half meters. So, what I would hope and I probably need steel plates for that. Man! And I'm right drilling. Uh, right clicking. Is it? Um, see if the drill fits now. 
Because the thing is that I just have to get it going. Um, right. And I will not let it go one um, one round on the road. I just have to change that. Um, but what I am going to do is that I'm going to work some. What? And going to first person, I'm going to. Oh. There, I'm going to start the drill and get up to my advanced rotor and set the velocity for mm, 0 0.5 nah that's too much 0 0.1 so uh, I'm not pushing the the drill um, too hard up against the wall when it starts to move And I am aware that I could actually I could actually put another welder uh, drill down here, I guess. Couldn't I? No. Maybe. Nah. It's not wide enough. I'll have to that have to let that go. Um And when that has gone and in around a while, um, there should be a place for me to put in a piston. I would like. I really would like another one on here. to place drill. Right. If I take my advanced rotor and reverse the speed I should at some point be able to get it to Okay, let's see if that... It did! Yes! What did I do that for? That's not at all what I want. And... Steel plate. I have to be careful about my hydrogen because it's not nice being out here without any hydrogen. I'll just go and fuel low. Yeah, I know, I know. <coughs> uh. Fuel critical. <coughs> yeah, I know, I know. Did I survive? I survived. Good thing I wasn't in the pit. Um, Cause that would um, would it be a little bit hard to get up from there. <laughs> Let's just fix my health and fix my. I didn't need that one, but I need hydrogen. I can't do that here. I have to do 
of that, and then that, and it's gone. Kidok. Right. Now I have welded these two up. Um, now I am going to lower my piston a little bit more um, so that they will get down. Because the two um, the two drills should be enough for uh, to get the ore. Um, so I'll just get that started. Um, And I will race for a meter. No, oh, Jesus, not one meter. <laughs> Eight point five meters. And it is extending. I'll just put these on. Is it fully extended? Then I'll take one in one. Well, actually, I can just go flat, I think. I think I might be in luck here. I can do plus of all this, and I can figure out all this while I'm waiting for it to. These are the ores that I uh, mined to uh, make a hole for the drills. It's not something that's uh, falling off the drill, even though it can look like that. So this is inventory full. This is both um, iron and uh, iron ore and s s gold ore and stone. This is the stuff that. Um, we don't have to do normally when we got the automatic ore um, collector, um, but as it is, it only works when um, it only works when there is space in our inventory. The second that the space is gone, it just drops like it would normally. Um, so now we can get. Uh, not the, right, the control panel, the advanced rotor, and we can turn that on. Now, the idea is that when this has taken a full round, there will be enough space for me to put a piston on it. And uh, this will be a step by step process. Much like it is in the real world. 
and we'll have a lot of um, residual f stone coming in and um, as far as I can see this is not vertical totally so we'll have to be adjusting it uh, off and on but now it can it can go there um, I'll just deposit this and I'll take as much as I can of these and I will deposit that I know that I have to move these manually um, but it's better than they're lying over here um, taking up space um, I actually have a lot of space here one minute, ten more well maybe the interior plates are that big right with this I will end this um, episode and I will um, come back with and an, uh, in the new episode there will be um, I will be making a sensor uh, to control the lights and I'm would be building a bigger rover for me to uh, to to go get this. Um, if there is time for it, um, I actually plan on building a uh, hydrogen thrust driven ship again, um, so we can get out in space. Um, so. Maybe we can do that at some point, because um, now we got our base and we got things going, and we don't have any enemies nearby, so we don't have to think of defenses, um, which is kind of annoying, really. Um, but I'll think about that. What I'm going to do about that, and the lighting bug in full flourish. <laughs> um, and then maybe we'll set up another drill rig with a projector, so um, it's possible to see what what that does. Um, but for now, I will leave you to it, and um, see you in the next time. Bye.